It's Monday, 3rd of December, and in Mondays, at the beginning of a new month, for me, it's all about getting my accounts work done for the previous month, so for November. Um, but actually, I've got two months worth of accounts work to do because I didn't finish off October's. Whoops, never mind. Um, so today, my plan is to sit down and go through all of my accounts, get them all up to date for October and November, so I can start with December afresh. There we go. So, Monday. Exciting day, I'm doing a count. Right, so that's all the accounts done for October and November. It's taken me, what time is it now? Almost lunchtime. So, time to have a break for something to eat. And then, this afternoon, I've got to get cracking on filming my the remaining days for my seven days of Christmas. That's project number one just sitting there all done <laughs> didn't do that today no did that yesterday um so <laughs> yeah i've got to squeeze those in as quickly as possible i've also got a lot of tea dyeing to do as well um either today probably this afternoon or um or maybe even tomorrow i'm trying to squeeze it in tomorrow i've got loads to do as well as to continue packing in here as well so oh it's gonna be a busy week well, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want this? Do you want this? Eh? Yeah. Do you? You ready then? Ready? Cook it! It's after lunch on Tuesday afternoon. Um, 6th of December, is it? I don't know, I'm losing track. Um, so yesterday afternoon, I after I'd done all my accounts and all that kind of stuff, I kind of got to work on um, some day job things that needed my attention. So I'm working on a project with somebody for the new year. Um, but today, because I didn't get a chance to do any of my tea dyeing, that's what I've been doing this morning. So I've been doing some tea dyeing, quite a lot of it, <laughs> for another journal that I'm putting together for somebody. So. That's been Tuesday. The weather's been absolutely really odd today. It's been sun shining, then it's been raining, then it's been sunny again, then it's been raining. Currently, there's a little bit of a break in the weather. Sun shining, but it's wet. And we've just had some hailstone. Until it's winter. Well, apparently it's Tuesday the 4th of December today. Apparently, because none of us can remember. I haven't got a clue. Well, I'm nearly up. <laughs> I'm nearly all packed. <laughs> I'm nearly all packed in the garage. Oh, dear. You're right now. No, yeah, carry on. Okay. Carry on. Nearly all packed in the garage. Workshops packed up. Or some of it's in boxes. I've actually thrown a lot of stuff out. Thrown stuff out. I know. Ooh. And I know for a fact in another three months I go. I needed that. But hey. So I've got boxes packed. I'm just covering the box in some leather at the moment for a machine I'm making for Christmas for somebody. And. Um, that's about it, really. Yes, it's been one of those days today, hasn't it? Dog wants to go out. Does he? Yeah. He's only just come in. Oi! Oi! <whistles> Isn't he? No, you're not going out, darling. You've just literally come in, haven't you? Yeah. It's only because we've been having a romp on the bed upstairs, isn't it? I want to do that. Hey, we've been playing with Mr. Dolphin and Mr. Reindeer, haven't we? Mr. Reindeer's last in the Yeah, he has, he has. So people have asked how we're getting on with the packing and that kind of stuff, ready for the move. Um, the answer is we haven't really. We've downsized a bit, decluttered cluttered a bit, used the opportunity to the throw skips. Yeah, to throw lots and lots of stuff away that has just been hanging around um, and just become part of the scenery, you know, that kind of that kind of clutter that you stare at day in, day out that you don't actually really need because you've not touched it for two or three years or in some cases in hours, uh -huh. 15 years. Um, so my <clears throat> craft room, art room, I have thinned down, but when we move, we're actually having somebody pack and then move as well. So rather than us do it ourselves, I know it's a bit lazy, but it's... it's the way yeah, the world works. It is, it is. Job creation. Absolutely, um, but it's a lot less hassle. So um, I have started, like I said, Ian's done a lot more in the garage than I've done in the craft room. Let's put it that way. In fact, <coughs> I'm going to take you out and show you what Ian's craft room or the garage looks like in a sec. Ooh, that light's bad. 
that's better. So, Ian's workshop. Let's have a look in. So, as you can see, shelves empty, bookcases all but hello, all but empty, boxes packed, ready to go. He's only really got a little bit on here because all the other shelves and everything are all done. He's only really got this lot to clear off and then he's all done. This is a machine he's just finishing off for somebody. I can't turn it on because there's no power to it at the moment, but it's almost complete. It's very impressive. So, yes, as you can see, he's a lot further on than I am. It's Wednesday, 5th of December, and it's just gone half past three. Uh, and as you can see, I'm back in the car. I'm on the way to mum and dad's. So it's the usual Wednesday. So shopping, evening meal, and catching up because I haven't been for the last couple of weeks. So it's Thursday the 6th of December and I've just got back from mum and dad's. Set off at about half past seven this morning. It took me quite a while to get through the traffic this morning. Um, and I've just been constantly thinking, um, while I was at mum and dad's last night, I was watching something on the TV um, with mum and dad. Um, and somebody said something, you know what, when you watch one of these kind of programmes, there was something in there and somebody said um, that if you... What was we watching? That was it. It was the film Passengers with Chris Pratt and... I can't remember the name of the woman. What does that say about me? Anyway, um, and the female character in there, um, she was a writer, and she said that her father had told her that if you live an extraordinary life, you'll have extraordinary stories to tell. That kind of resonated with me a little bit because... I've been thinking about these vlogs since I started doing them again and I don't think I live an extraordinary life. In fact, I think I live a very ordinary life. Um, and so the stories that I tell through these vlogs of my week, if you like, to me, are very, very ordinary. And I don't know, or I always worry that you guys just will see the same thing week in week out me driving around going to see mum and dad going to the supermarket talking about what i've been doing what we've been up to where we've been going and that's just kind of ordinary so i'm gonna give some thought in the new year um, i'm gonna give some thought to the vlogs and the format of the vlogs in the new year just to see if i can maybe make them a little bit more interesting so, but what format that's going to be and how I'm going to make them a little bit more interesting. Maybe I include a little bit more art in the, the vlogs or maybe I go out on more day trips. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think in 2019 the vlog will get a little bit of a revamp and an overhaul. We'll just have to see what format that takes. So it's Friday, 7th of December, and I've started to clear out some of the drawer units inside the craft room and the office. So I'll just turn the, um, the camera around so you can see what I've done. So drawer units are now completely empty. So this is like the accumulation, or what was it kept in here? It was the accumulation of a few years worth of hoarding, basically. <laughs> because there was stuff in there that I hadn't there was actually receipts and credit card receipts and that kind of stuff that would kept for the accounts dating back to 2010 don't need to keep those anymore absolutely not so they've all gone so they're all going um, into the document shredder bag and um, we have a shredding machine here which we've got for bank statements and that kind of stuff so yeah it's gonna be a busy day shredding just gone 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. Um, Ian's just taken Mr. Bentley out for his morning WALK. I'm still trying to wake myself up. Second cup of coffee of the day. Um, today's going to be a kind of long day. Um, we're planning 
a bit of a round robin road trip today. We have to go into Leeds City Centre because he needs to pick up a few bits and pieces for some of his machines. From Leeds City Centre, we're then driving about 40, 45 miles south to a city called Sheffield, which you may have heard of, a um, place where the Human League came from and Def Leppard and people like that and um, a few other famous bands. And also where the steel and all the cutlery comes from, Sheffield Steel. So we're going there um, for around about lunchtime. He's got an appointment there. Then we're driving back through to the new house to have a look at the flooring because all the new tiles and everything have been laid. So that would be exciting to have a look at that. And then from there, we're driving um, back across to mum and dad, taking Mr. Bentley to see grandma and granddad for a cup of tea. So we'll stay there for an hour or so, and then we're gonna drive back through to Leeds. So we should hopefully be back in time for me to upload day one of my seven days of Christmas. If I can't get it done today, then I'll have to do it on Sunday. Um, I'm not going anywhere on Sunday, so it should be fine then. But depending on time, we'll get back. Who knows? So it's 10 to 11 and I've just dropped Ian off in the centre of Leeds. I've just parked up, we're just waiting for him to come back from the shop. Um, he's gone in just to buy a few bits and pieces that he needs for one of his machines. So it's only a five minute thing. So I've not even parked properly. Let's hope no traffic wardens come along. <laughs> Say hello, you're on camera. Good, good morning. I've just, <laughs> it's, Saturday, it's 10.57 and I've just come from the works shop. <laughs> Needed some boxes, bought them on the internet. No problem at all, I thought. Waited three days, no boxes. Looked on website, out of stock. Oh, we never thought to tell you. Complete and utter bat beep. Yes. Yes, so I've just been to get some from the shop in Leeds. So right. onward and To upward. Sheffield. To Sheffield we go, to our friend Carl. Letting me know your disapproval. <laughs> so we've done Sheffield, we've driven all the way back from Sheffield to Barnsley now. Ian's just dropping off another machine. Yes, thank you. I know. We'll be getting out in a minute. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so we're dropping this one off and then we're going to go grab some lunch and then we're going to go up to the new house. All good fun. So it's now about five o'clock-ish. It's 12 minutes to five. 12 minutes to five, okay. And we're back home, as you can probably guess from the decor. Um, we didn't have that much time to actually look around the house um, because the sales agent wasn't there. So we were able just to have a look through the windows at the tiles, which still looked absolutely fantastic. Mr. Bentley is tied out now. He's curled up next to me, look. Poor Bentley Bobs. Because he's had a busy day as well. We popped in to see um, Gamma and Gandad. Um, had a nice little surprise when we got there. My brother and his partner Cheryl were there as well. So it was nice because I've not seen them for quite some time. So we had a nice little visit. Mr Bentley went absolutely nuts because there was people he's not seen before. Because it's the first time that my brother's met Bentley. And they seem to get on very well, so that's good. So that's it for Saturday. We're going to have something to eat and we're going to crash in front of the TV because both of us are tired out, aren't we? Yes. There you go. It is just gone 11 a.m. on Sunday, the 9th of December date right and because it's in front of me on the clock in the car. Um, I'm just nipping down to the supermarket and I need to pick up a few bits and pieces. We've decided we're going to have a full traditional Sunday lunch today. Um, I picked up um, a piece of Aberdeen Angus beef a couple of days ago and I took mum shopping. Um, so I'm going to go get some things to go with that, so roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings and we've run out of peas so I'm just gonna go and replenish those stores so we can have a proper proper cooked Sunday meal today it's um, one of those days today where even though it's a Sunday and we're supposed to be taking things easy excuse the glare from the uh, the winter sun um, 
we've both got lots and lots and lots of things we need to achieve today. Um, <clears throat> because we were out all day yesterday doing other jobs, I need to catch up on some laundry, I need to also do um, some more filming for my Seven Days of Christmas series. Um, I've got a couple of little jobs that I need to do, um, creative jobs, not necessarily filming jobs, but I need a couple of things that I need to do um, or achieve today. Uh, up in the craft room, packing, cleaning out, that kind of thing. So it's going to be a fairly busy day. So we're going to be having our main meal quite late, um, probably about six, seven o'clock tonight. So I've also got to grab something that we can have for lunch. Um, so I'm just nipping down to the supermarket. Hello, hello, there, yeah, that was a nice welcome home, wasn't it? That was a nice welcome home. Look at the beautiful baby boy, use the use. Oh, are they tired? No, <laughs> no. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.